material. We always had the belief with, uh, in you. So, thank you, lads. It's been a great season, and let's go all the way. In a constant shower of champagne, Melbourne Croatia celebrated the club's second successive minor premiership. Forgotten for a moment was the hard work that lies ahead, as the tension of a long league campaign was released with the pop of each champagne cork. In a baptism of bubbles, Kenny Murphy has in his debut season as coach scored a personal triumph. It means a big thing to me. I still regard it as winning the championship. You know, I still look at uh, as a grand final. I think I still look upon it as uh, the top five cup. To me, I feel as though I've won the championship. Today. No one was spared on Croatia's day of celebration. <laughs> The victory needed to clinch the minor premiership was never in doubt, once Francis Awaratifi scored with a precise header after six minutes of play. It gave Waratifi 14 league goals for the season, just one behind the leading scorers, and the flamboyant striker looked certain to grab number 15. All that stood between Croatia and a bag of goals was Peter Blazincic. Early in the game, the West Adelaide defence was flimsy and at times all too charitable, but Awaratifi didn't make the most of his gift. Yet West Adelaide was able to find a hole in Croatia's solid backline, only to be thwarted by an offside ruling. Most of the time it was one-way traffic towards the West Adelaide goal. Blazincic, undoubtedly the goalkeeping fight of the season, was in a defiant mood. It took a deflection to beat the brave Blazincic, but Paul Donnelly was too excited with his first goal in a 100-game NSL career to care about how the ball went in. back with really, you now, I couldn't actually believe it, you know, but um, oh, it's magic to score, especially in the last game of the season and to win the uh, big championships, it was tremendous. So, you looked pretty excited after the goal, had you been practicing that routine for quite a few years? <laughs> actually, my wife says if you score today, do a double somersault for me, but I can only mind his one. At 2 0, Croatia would have been happy to cruise home in the second half, but West Adelaide kept the contest alive with a goal in the 54th minute. Back made up for his earlier disappointment at the disallowed goal with a decisive header, but the revival was short-lived. West Adelaide's defence was never far from mishap, but somehow got away with a trip on George Hanna that was blatant to most, but not to the referee John Santa Isabel. Then in the last minute it was perhaps no surprise that Croatia's third was an own goal by Claudio Canossa. By then it hardly mattered. Croatia's party was about to start. 